Okay. My name's Chris. Um, I'm a nurse, and I have uh, some concerns about geoengineering. Uh, Stephen, I'm kind of in line with you on your theories. Um, I believe that there's deeper issues here when you look at, uh, like, the stratospheric wells back patent already in existence. And um, you look at Raytheon's patent, uh, 500386, for the al al aluminum. And you get the Monsanto connection with their aluminum-resistant seed. And it's not just sulfur I think we're talking about here. I think it gets into a, a much deeper uh, ethical uh, debate. And um, I'm concerned about, uh, just from a medical standpoint, if we do other, I mean, we know Bill Gates has invested heavily into uh, his sulfur uh, geoengineering and his half a million stocks of uh, Monsanto. Um, so I, I'm worried about the uh, aluminum and neuroprogressive diseases in the future if this is more than sulfur. Um, uh, I, I personally like the, the volcanoes because I'm an enthusiastic uh, person of zeolite powder as far as, a, uh, you know, heavy metal detox. So I, I'm concerned about geoengineering in general, and I, I don't think we should do it. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so I think, just guessing, because I've had lots of interaction with folks, that you're probably talking about what... Uh, is called the chemtrails conspiracy. Oh, so, it's not so I'm happy to let you talk if you want. No, Feel I free. Just, it's, chemtrails is like the, the not a very good term. It's solar radiation management, solar obscuration, those types of things. No, I, I'm just doing my best to answer as I know, and I'm happy to have you talk as much as you like. But if you want to hear what I have to say, then absolutely. Let me That's talk. why I'm here. So, and so, so, um, uh, as I understand it, and I invited people from who believe in this into my office to talk about it, and you can look for the videos. I've also had two death threats from such people enough, uh, many actually more than two, but two serious enough that we called the police. Um, uh, people uh, uh, appear to believe a wide range of things, but broadly that um, elements of the U.S. government are spraying toxic chemicals, sometimes claimed to be barium or aluminum or various other chemicals claimed, sometimes claimed to be from commercial aircraft. And then the hypothesized reasons for this are mass culling of the human population or mind controllers, a variety of them. Uh, and um, uh, this is not a, a completely obscure view. So my student, Ashley Mercer, and I ran a survey, a high quality survey of polling firms of uh, U.S. audiences and, and U.K. and Canadian, and we asked a question that didn't use the word, because I don't know what word to use, but we said, is there a conspiracy by the U.S. government, blah, blah, and we got about 2%, Ashley can correct me if that number's wrong, uh, so that's not an obscure number, it's a significant, so you, you represent a, a real group of people. So from my point of view, to be blunt, this is a completely baseless conspiracy theory. I have no reason to, and I've seen no evidence, despite actually taking time, my own time, to look for it, that there's any there there. So Not even the 2001 that, Space Preservation Act, Act I have R2977? No idea what that is, but again... Is specifically listed in there as an exotic weapon. Sure, so I, I actually... It does exist. Fair enough. So again, uh, uh, you're free to talk, but if you want well, me I'm to... Well, I'm saying it does. It's HR 2977. Well, then it sounds like you know the answer, but I, I, I could give another few words about what I've done, and then we could wrap it up. we can be happy to talk afterwards. Sure. So... Um, the things that I've mostly interacted with is people presented me what, what appeared to be data to show that aluminum was coming from the sky. And um, this data had no controls and didn't seem to take account of the fact that aluminum, uh, aluminum oxide is one of the most common elements of the Earth's crust. And the actual data that I saw didn't look any different from normal chemical analysis you see all the time. And I asked these people responsible questions about that and got no answers that, that made sense to me. Just hold on a second. And the other main thing that people say is that contrails in the atmosphere didn't used to look like they do now. And so people, I get, literally, I'm not making this up, probably uh, one email a day on average, maybe two, uh, telling me that, that I'm messing with the climate personally and that these contrails look different than they used to. And one of the odd things is, like, there's no evidence. People are completely sure this is true based on just contrails looking different. And one thing they say is that they'd never looked like that before. And there are actually some good websites debunking this conspiracy theory that have a bunch of photos of contrails in the 19th 60s that look just like they look now because it's the same processes. And so, and I've said, bottom line is I and several other people here, including Alan, have, have talked with folks maybe like yourself, and I'm happy to talk, but I have no evidence whatsoever there is such a 
conspiracy. And since I have kids too, I would be highly motivated if I thought there was such a conspiracy to do my best, including risking my life, to expose it and show it for what it was. But I don't think there is any such. 